when you think about how films are made, you think about glamour, you see these heavy cameras, you see these beautiful actors and all the grandiose aspects of filmmaking. However, times have changed. And with just a G7, a Ronin S, a tripod, a slider, and a microphone, we set out to make our own short film. And these are some of the shots we were able to achieve at the end of the day. Most of them were actually done using visual effects and we edited everything in Adobe Premiere Pro and did most of the effect using Adobe After Effects. One interesting fact about this shoot is that this was my first time in trying to make miniature sets and this is how the final shot looks like and this is what we made. We actually made this as a very small building, kept it over here, shot it, composited the actors inside to make it look very big and in terms of the v effects as you can see we actually use this particular blue screen here we didn't use green because of course we were already in the background and all the grasses and everything around us was green and that is why we decided to go with a blue background instead of a green background and one other thing we did very well in this particular scenario was that we had to look at the shadows now if you look at this particular miniature building you look at where the shadow is actually going if someone was actually seated under this thing then we should actually see the shadow and this is where we had to cut some leaves and I made some of the actors hold it right over the actor's head and as you can see the shadow is being casted this way and so when we did the compositing the shadow was actually going to the right direction and that is what you should always take note of if you are out there to make anything that has to do with green screen or compositing somewhere always have the background or the final look at the back of your mind and light your scene accordingly so in this case we're just using natural light but we had to still use these things to cast the shadow and I actually chose to even use this particular stuff because again because this is grass you can actually find some little little holes so that the sun can pierce through and that is why we actually chose to use the leaves as well in between the leaves will be these small small spaces and the sun rays can get to pierce through and that was how we managed to get this particular shot with just a little and with almost no budget this was the kind of shot we were able to get at the end of the day so this proves that it is not always about budget could this shot have been better yes if we had the money this would have actually been way better but with technology after effect and the kind of hd cameras that we do have in our pockets these days everything is absolutely possible you can always pilot your big idea big budget films are always going to be there what i am only trying to say is that do not let budget limit you especially if you are just a beginner because no one will trust you with a big time production if you haven't proven to be capable enough and so i entreat you to go out there make a short film and start your film making career now in this video, I am going to be giving you tips as to how we were able to execute this short film with the limited resources and almost no budget that we had for this film. Now, let's get into it. Filmmakers like myself and other filmmakers out there who do not have access to this heavy budget and heavy glamour, what should we do? Should the stories inside us just die off because we don't have the money to do so? No, and that is why on this particular day, I decided to call my friends so that we go out and shoot. Now, this film actually began with the making of a script. Now, in writing the script, I wasn't just writing the script out of nothing. Even though it's a fictional script, I was also looking at exactly what was available to me. And this is a very key tip for anyone out there who wants to make their own film. The success of it in terms of budget starts from the way the film is even being written. Now, I couldn't have written about a very expensive location where it doesn't even exist in my locality so even in writing the script right from the characters to where they will be everything is actually being written within my strength or within the level of things that i know i can be able to afford or things that i can get with little short films like this the more you can get help from family and friends the better your film is going to be and the more successful this film is going to be actually because remember you are making this for no budget or very minimal budget in this particular case all the actors i use for this project are actually students from my former university where i attended and that was a very good way of reaching out to people who are so passionate about acting now most of them are not really screen actors but at least they do come from theater school and they do acting on stage and so at least it's not so difficult to kind of tune their minds to screen and that takes me to the next point everybody on set as well actually helped in conveying equipment and actually helped in almost every department now on bigger film sets you have people who are dedicated to every single department doing things on their own but in low budget indie film cases like this 
you do not have that budget you do not have that luxury to go about you know having people doing specific things so in this case everybody on the project has to be passionate about the project by so doing if you're carrying a camera or someone needs to help in carrying a mic in this particular scenario this person there was not a sound man but once we were about to cross the water, the person had to carry it across the water. And this is a very key example of what I'm talking about. Everyone has to get their hands involved. Now, shout out to Awiswa Angie from the Awiswa Angie Cooking YouTube channel. She was so amazing. Because I shot this in another language, which is not my mother tongue, I had to bring her on board. And also, Mr. Paul, who also happens to be an actor in this particular same film, all participated in making sure that even though the script was written in English, we were able to translate it into the African language chi, which was very easy for them to do. Like I said, I wasn't competent enough to do that. And that is another thing. Do not be afraid to involve people if you think you are a little bit deficient in certain backgrounds. This is a very key point if you intend to make your own film. Always know that you can't really be a master of all. Always make sure that at least you have people who can handle different departments. And guys, in making films like this, you have to make your mind that you do anything for the shot. In this particular case, we could not measure the depth of this water, but just with instinct, someone might say this is stupid, but I just had to get across and had to be the first person to do that. And that is my directorial style. Instead of directing actors to do something, especially if it is a dangerous stunt, I try to put myself in it even before my actors get there. That way we tend to trust each other because it's not like director is asking me to do something especially this is a passion thing you are not paying them so like i said in any case at every point in time you have to make everybody feel like you are all working together towards a common goal even though that is it some directors might kind of make actors feel alienated from the process sometimes I like to make sure that every actor, whether it's a big time project or is this, you know, a fun, you know, backyard project like we are doing in this particular case, I always want to create that atmosphere to make everybody feel like they are stakeholders in the film and we all are working together to achieve that particular aim. One of my favorite quotes in life has always been that there is no limit to what a man can achieve if they do not care as to who takes the credit. I mean, I don't mind who takes the credit for it. At the end of the day, the final goal must be achieved. And if there's anything you pick from this video as a beginner filmmaker, this is one key point. This is one of the major things I would want you to take away from this particular project. Our only major challenge was that because we were actually shooting very close to a lagoon or a sea, the wind was just so crazy. And the audio, I've really been thinking, I've had sleepless nights over the audio of this film. I'm almost at a point where I'm thinking whether I should use ADR and re-record the voices to make it work because I'm feeling so uncomfortable of posting this film here right now because I feel like the audio is not really that top notch yet. So that is the only thing I'm reworking on. We have finished the editing, all the cuts, and like I said, the VFX, everything is almost ready. But the main thing holding this film is still the sound. In fact, the mixing is even complete, but I feel like the dialogue keeps drowning because of the wind. And so, <sighs> I'm not too sure if I'm ready to post that film yet, but hey, just make sure to subscribe to the channel because very soon I'll be posting the final film when the whole thing is ready. If you are just discovering this channel for the very first time, welcome this Africa Amaze channel. Over here, I talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. We also watch movies, review them, take lessons from them, and learn from them as a filmmaker. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.